Welcome Libras. I'm back guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Happy to be back here with you guys. I definitely do apologize that it did take me so long to um, get to reading. Okay. Um, unfortunately, my hometown is going through, it's going through a lot. Okay. That's where my focus has been. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys may have heard about the Ahmad Arbery case um, that happened and occurred in my hometown where I'm from, where my family is. And that's just been a big priority to me. I've been following this case from day one, okay? And things are starting to get, you know, with my, you know, the city is starting to get a little bit of justice and arrest has been made after about two to three months of us waiting for an arrest or some type of explanation as to what was going on. So, you know, there's been protests and there's been a lot going on, okay? So that's where my focus has been. But I definitely did miss you guys. And I was like, you know what? I got to get back to my channel. I got to get back to my people. I got to get back to my people. So I definitely do apologize that you guys' readings were delayed, all right? But it's back to business, okay? So this, this message here is going to be a general read for Libras, okay? Um, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you have Libra anywhere in those placements, this could you can apply this reading to you, okay? Um, if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, you can click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on future reads. Um, if you want to book your very own personal reading with me, that information is going to be in the drop box below, okay? So let's do this. Let's see what energy we have coming for coming towards Libras for the month of May. Libras. What message is there for my Libras? What message do you have for Libras, please? Libras, Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What message was coming towards Libras for the month of May? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Oh, Ace of Wands, whoa, 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 Libras. What's, what's all of this? We got the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Very sexy energy. You guys may be feeling yourself. Y'all just feeling hot and spicy. I'm just getting like, there's this, this sexy energy, okay? We got the King of Pentacles. Could there be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn involved? Okay, and I, it looks like someone is watching. You're watching someone, okay? With the page of swords here. Are you watching the earth sign? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could just be someone that is like very, very outgoing, very um, goal-oriented, could have their own business. They're doing their thing with their pentacle, okay? Let's see what's going on. What is this? Mm. All right, let's see what's going on. Libra. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, it's in the reverse. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Capricorn, okay? And as well, we have the Strength card in reverse. We got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. And we also have the Knight of Swords reverse. Okay, well, what's this? Okay, let's see. I got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? So maybe there's a missed opportunity or your focus is on an opportunity or there is like, you know, a goal that you're trying to attain or um, your focus is on your pentacle, your money, okay? 
I'm getting that there is like a small offer here. With the Knight of Pentacles, definitely Capricorn's energy, but this is a very kind of slow approach. Um, and the the offer may be kind of, you know, take a while to get to you. Okay, some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. I got strength card here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Libras, please? I got the death card. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel like I'm just getting like an opportunity or something. Something came to an end. Okay, Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles. You're keeping your eye on this earth sign. Okay. I feel like some of you guys are definitely dealing with like an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or it's just something about your finances. Maybe you're keeping an eye on your money. I'm getting like kind of like a pocket watching a little bit. Um, why is the strength card here in reverse? The three of pentacles, okay? The three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. So some of you guys could be dealing with, um, this could be in regards to work. This could be a situation at work, okay? Why is the Three of Pentacles here in reverse? Six of Pentacles, okay? Something about getting something temporary. So maybe some of you guys could possibly be, you know, collecting unemployment is what I'm getting as well, too. Um, and I'm getting here with the Four of Pentacles being the outcome. Maybe you you are deciding that you need to hold on to that money, save it. Um, but I'm getting that there is like, I'm getting like there's like some of you guys may be focused. Your focus is on getting some type of compensation, some type of compensation here. But the process of it is slow. Like the process of it is slow. Like it's like slow. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you are looking for some type of aid or assistance. Um, and this could most definitely have to do with like an unemployment check or, you know, the stimulus check. A lot of people haven't, you know, have been saying that they haven't received their received the stimulus check. For some of you guys, this is this is what this is about. Okay. This is about um, you know assistance some type of aid okay the ace of cups is here in the reverse pisces cancer scorpio energy okay ace of swords yeah oh lots of communication here maybe you're looking for some new information on whether or not something is going you're going to receive something okay but i do see like there's communication here or hearsay or or some type of news travel um, in regards to possibly finances. I feel like you've been being very patient in the past here with the Seven of Pentacles here. Why are the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Four of Wands. Okay. This is a family. This is a family unit. You, you know, we're being patient. You're trying to make sure that things are stable. Okay, I see that as well. Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, Page of Swords. Some of you are keeping your eye on the news. Okay, you're waiting to get some type of information here. Knight of Swords energy for future energy is you guys' energy, but that's things picking up. Like all of a sudden, things happen rapidly. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords? Yeah, things are getting ready to pick up. Chariot. Ooh, some of you guys are dealing with the cancer, but things are getting ready to pick up like whew, it's going to be so swift. It's going to happen so fast. So I'm sensing like things were moving slow and then all of a sudden it picks up. Why is the chariot card here? Four of cups in reverse. Okay, so the judgment card in reverse. Why is the four of cups here in reverse? Two of Swords and the Empress. You know, you wasn't sure what took so long. You were starting to get discouraged and pissed off because you don't know what was taking this so long, but it looks like things are getting ready to pick up, okay? King of Swords is in reverse as you guys' energy. You guys are pissed about how slow this process is taking, okay? Why's the King of Swords here in reverse? <laughs> yeah, you're getting tired. 
okay? You want something to be done about this. You're getting frustrated with this process, okay? It's been taking a long time, okay? Maybe you were thinking that something went wrong and you're trying to figure out what's the holdup, okay? Ten of Wands, I feel like how others are viewing this is the Ten of Wands. This is very stressful, okay? It's a burden, we got the three of wands. Other people have been, whoever this is, they've noticed that you've been waiting for a while and other people are waiting for, have been waiting for a long time as well, okay? There's been a long, drawn-out process here, okay? Yeah, and it's in regards to money, ten of pentacles, all right? So we got the lovers here. In the reverse, you could be dealing with the Gemini, but this is in your hopes and fears. Why is the lovers here, okay? Knight of cups reverse. I'm getting that... Um, there's an offer here or, um, I'm getting like a turned down offer. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to get declined or you're going to get rejected in some way, shape or form, but, or you feel like you're afraid to get some, you know, to get, hear bad news because I do feel like, um, you're waiting on some type of decision to be made and it's just been taking a while. Why is the four of pentacles here as the outcome? Yeah. You're going to be saving your money. Okay, nine of pentacles. You're going to be doing um, whatever it is that you need to do. You're going to be holding on to, because I do feel like a, you've been waiting and then the process just out of the blue just picks up. Okay. Once things finally get in order for you, you're going to be well off. Okay. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Okay. Why is the five of cups here? Something about regretting a decision here. I feel like, see, we got the queen of pentacles in reverse. Make sure that you're holding on and doing what you need to do, saving if you need to save because you don't want to overspend. I'm getting that you're looking like, you know, I don't want to overspend. Okay, I feel like I'm going to regret it if I move too fast. Like, I feel like um, some of you are going to be very, very smart and, and logical um, once things get, the ball gets to rolling in your favor, okay? So it does look like things are getting ready to pick up for you, all right? So let's, let's get some advice. Let's look into, um, let's get uh, some advice here. What message is there for Libras for the month of May? What message is there for Libras? Okay, we got awakening, all right? A new way of being, a new way of being, okay? Some of you guys may be going through an awakening. This is a wake-up call for a lot of you, Okay. Things are changing. There's some type of transformation. Some of you guys may have been seeing the number 555. I've been seeing it like crazy for the past two to three weeks. Um, but definitely transformation and some type of change is, um, you know, some of you guys are going through upgrades. Some of you guys are going through awakenings here. Things are changing at a cellular at a cellular rate. Oh, I can't even get the word out. We got warrior woman. Warrior woman. That was that Queen of Wands energy that I saw come out. Have you answered your deepest calling? Okay. Calling your, your soul family. Calling your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. Okay. And one more card for Libras, please. Thank you. All right. We have soul family, so it came right back out. You guys have um, helpful people around you. Okay, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, Calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Okay, you don't. You do not have to do this alone. Okay, so let's get some advice from the angels. Let's see what the angels have to say. What message is there for my Libras? What message is there for my Libras? Okay, we got take action. 
We got you're ready. You're ready to take action. You're ready to see some things move forward. Okay. And we got romance. Okay. Let's see what's going on. I haven't been getting a lot of love readings for the month of May. Let's see. You're ready. Why is you're ready here? Okay. Three of Pentacles. A lot of you are ready to go back to work. Okay. A lot of you are like, you know, I'm done with this quarantine mess. I'm ready to get back to work. Okay. But, but the thing about it is, is I feel like some good news is headed your way. Okay. I got very good news. Things are changing. Things are shifting. We got the sun card here as well as the will of fortune. That's a beautiful energy. Page of wands is news. Good news. Okay, I feel like things are going to go in your favor, but you're ready to take action. You're ready to go back to work. Why is take action here? Five of wands in the reverse. Like you're over this. You're over this. You're over this. See, yeah, this is your focus. You want to be, this is you guys' energy all the way. This and the empress, not a pinnacles and the empress. They kind of mirror each other to me because they both have a sense of, you know, like the finer things in life the you know uh self-love self-care um uh, being self-sufficient like i love this energy for libra i feel like <laughs> i feel like oh this is what i'm telling you things are getting ready to pick up okay like there is about to be a swift you guys may be about to get some type of communication some type of letter or some type of some type of something happening very swiftly Okay, maybe it was moving slow before, but it is getting ready to pick up. Okay, and we got romance here. So it looks like you guys may have some romance coming into your future. Let's see, why is romance here? Ace of Cups. You go ahead, Libras. Ace of Cups. That is a new, something new, a new romance. Okay, ooh, devil. A lot of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn. Some of you guys are dealing with Capricorn. It could be something from your past. Oh, Queen of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Look at this. And the King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting like there's this loving person. This could be a new person that comes into your life. You guys may have wonderful, great sex. But I feel like there's just this great, loving, caring energy Okay, we got the Queen of Cups as well as the King of Cups here. This could be a match, okay? And look at this, temperance. Someone's going to be giving you balance. This person could give you balance, could help balance you out, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but they may be want, maybe the type that want to go 50-50 with you or give you as much as you give them. Like, I feel like this is something, a new romance. I feel like this is some someone new, Okay. I do want to see why the devil is here. For some of you dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, Ten of Swords. This person is possibly not going to be a player. Okay. Um, I feel like you're like there's a cutoff here. There's a cutoff. If they don't treat you right, you're cutting their asses off. Um, you don't want this player type energy, okay? You don't want this player type energy. You're looking for someone who carries this energy, okay? More loving and compassion type energy here, okay? Yeah, I see you not wanting to move forward. Um, if you feel like this person is going to be playing games, you're like, nah, I don't want to deal with that because this is you guys' energy, the empress, okay? You, you feel like I'm better than that, okay? I'm better than that. I'm not going to keep repeating myself is what I keep, what I keep seeing here as well, too. So this could be someone from your past trying to return. Someone that's still stuck in the past, okay? Um, but I feel like you have an opportunity for someone, some, for something new, or if you want to dip and dab with your past, okay? So if this message resonated with you guys, Great, this message was for you. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to book your very own personal reading, that information will be in the Dropbox below, all right? Until next time, guys, I run with mod. Peace and love.